good morning everyone it's a Sunday morning and I am up early today because I am heading out to the Muskoka Lakes in Ontario a couple hours north of Toronto to meet up with a Sea-Doo touring group or a riding group that I met online over the winter uh, haven't met these guys personally yet only online they do rides every week usually on Fridays but uh, for this week it's on a Sunday for some reason so I'm gonna meet them for the first time they looks like they do a lot of interesting rides they got a great website and I just kind of want to get out and ride with these guys because I don't know anybody else who's got a sea -Doo. I'm the only guy I know who's got one. So this is going to be my riding group, I hope, and uh, be able to ride with these guys over the next uh, couple of months, summertime. So I'm on my way up there now. I've got the sea -Doo. It's all hooked up, ready to go behind me. I'm just going to take the 407, the 400 North, and uh, connect with this group. So I will see you up in Muskoka country. Well, I've arrived at the destination. Looks like there's already some sea dews here in the water, ready to go. Follow the guy in right in front of me. That may be one of the leaders of the group. We're gonna find out in just a minute. Well, I've met a bunch of the guys now. We're just getting set to head out from uh, the Gravenhurst Marina. Apparently there's no charge for parking here, which is nice. So I've already learned something from these guys. And uh, they're getting all their sea dudes in the water. It looks like there's going to be at least nine or ten of us. Some people who are very new to the group, like me. Others who have been here for forever. Met the three founding guys, Ron, Greg, and uh, Andrew. Haven't quite met Andrew yet, but I will in a minute. We're just getting ready to go. We're going to get the cover off here. Okay, that's off. Pollen all over my machine this morning. Don't like that. Okay, everybody's just about in the water, so we should be ready to go in about 10 minutes or so, I think. I think we'll have uh, all day on the water, be back around 4 or 5 o'clock. So this is the bay at Port Carling. Turtle Jack's over there, liquor store. Maybe it's 12 noon, the bells are going. You can drive right up to the liquor store and get beer to go. LCBO. Turtle Jack's, nice little restaurant. And then there's a lock right there. You gotta go through a lock if you're gonna go any further. This is the top end of Lake Muskoka. We're gonna have to get gas pretty soon. Everybody's down to about three bars. So somewhere around here we'll have to get gas. Either we go through the lock first or we get gas now. I don't know. See what the group decides. Apparently is uh, the Cleveland house, Cleveland's house, first time I've ever been here. All the sea dews are parked here, we're all tied up, and we're going to go ahead and have a little lunch in the Cleveland's house. <laughs> Serious problem, the umbrella's not working right. We may have to leave. Well, this has been a day of first for me on the water, not only with the group, but also this is my first fill up on the water. And the guys tell me this is two bucks a liter. That's premium, right? Premium? Is that what you guys use? It's okay? All right. Two bucks for 89 proof. Gas is expensive on the water. You pay a premium when you're the only game in town. So we had lunch right over there at Cleveland's. Just came across over here to the marina. We're gonna get gas right here. We haven't fun yet, Bob. We're having fun yet. Because we haven't pulled our wallet out too many times yet. Right. It's about to happen. <laughs> So that was uh, 74 bucks at $2 a liter. And that's about three hours of running, maybe a little bit more. So that's pretty expensive when you look at two bucks a liter. 
but the only game in town, so that's what you're paying. This is the swimming bay. <laughs> This is what they call the monster. The sculpture right on this guy's dock. Now apparently there's been a lot of controversy over this thing. Some people either really hate it or others really like it. So depending on your point of view, people want the thing removed or they don't mind it at all. But I think it's a bit of a tourist attraction. Look at this, it drew all of us over here to have a look at it. The monster. The groups out there having a look at it as well. They kind of like it too, I think. I like it. I can see why it's controversial though. Okay, so we're coming up on a lock here at Fort Carling. This is going to be my first lock ever. I've never gone through a lock on a boat yet before. this morning and I'll probably get home at 6 6 30 tonight but the problem with doing something on a Sunday in Toronto particularly in cottage country around Muskoka is you get into all of this traffic heading back into the city this is the 400 series highway up to Muskoka it's actually not been too too bad it's been a little bit uh, stop start but at least it's been moving it hasn't been stopped and sitting at all but that's the chance you take when you go out anywhere in cottage country on a Sunday in uh, southern Ontario. You can get stuck in the traffic on the way home. But still, all in all, great day today. Really enjoyed the ride on Muskoka Lake. <laughs>